I didn't like the way the show started. Got a cup full of ice and I'm seeing new games. I mean, someone's super excited about that event on PC, right? Yeah! So what's the deal with this belt? Shut off and leave me alone. I achieved this for winning the Minecraft Hunger Games. So everybody knows I'm the champ. Praise Jimmy Jesus. I'm pretty excited. Maybe a little too excited. <laughs> I do know the best host in the world happens to be Andrea Renee, so let's find out what she's doing. Andrea? Ah, oh, thanks so much, Jose. That's very kind of you. And you may have a shot at FIFA someday. You just gotta practice a little bit more. Spoiler, but it's a fanny pack full of yeah. awesome goodies. You will all go on an expanding journey through the Second World War. No loot boxes. No loot boxes. Every day will bring something new. And as part of that journey, after launch, You'll get something I know a lot of you have been asking for. Mm -hmm. It's Royale. No! Ah, uh, can Battle Royale like just die me? Oh, Anthem got a release date. Uh, it got delayed until 2019. So, yeah. There's there's a bunch of us from Coldwood here, and and thank you to those, and thank you to everybody back home, and thank you, love you. I do like my boys Bethesda, they always do release some good games. For example, we've got Fallout 76, I mean it was already revealed but they actually showed us gameplay. And they also did give us a pretty good announcement that it's fully online. Meaning that if you come across a player in the game, it is an actual real player, it's not like a bot or anything. So I mean that's pretty damn cool. As for Fallout, we also got um, <sighs> Fallout Shelter for... Nintendo Switch, man, because I always want a mobile game on the go in my Nintendo Switch. It's not like I could download it on my phone, no. I want to use my three hour battery life just to play some Fallout Shelter on my Nintendo Switch. We got Doom Eternal announced as a follow up from Doom 2016. But apart from that, I think Bethesda had a pretty good presentation. Keys? What are we? I don't understand. We had Forza Horizon 4 announced, and that actually looked incredible. Mostly because you can play in Edinburgh. And if you don't know, Edinburgh is quite close to where I live, so I'm going to buy this game and just cruise around Edinburgh. But I think the biggest announcement for Xbox was that we got a new Halo game finally. Halo Infinity was announced, in fact. We didn't really get much, it was just kind of like a cinematic trailer, of course, but I mean... From what I see, it looks good, Master Chief is finally back, they did confirm that we get to finally play as Master Chief, because thank god, because Halo, Halo 5, it was, eh. We also got Devil May Cry 5 revealed, but I think one of the biggest announcements from Xbox was that they have over, I think it's like 5 or maybe 6, uh, first party new developers working on exclusive games. Uh, it's, it's, more, it's more than Sony now. Sony are not going to be happy. Also, the cheese the new Xbox. Overall, pretty good. It was probably one of their strongest reveals, or E3s, I should say, in a long time. So we got some new games announced, and a lot of them did look really good, to be fair. We got a sequel to Resident Evil with Resident Evil 2. Um, not gonna lie, there's not much I can say about that game because I don't own a PlayStation 4. I don't plan to. Not because I don't like them, just because Sony seem a bit salty about cross-platform. So Last of Us 2, we get a sequel for that after the amazing ending from Last of Us 1. I won't spoil it, but if you want to go look up the ending for Last of Us, I, I recommend it. In fact, screw that, I'm gonna just reveal it here. It's over, Jarek. Shinnok is dead. The good guys won. You're coming back with me. Never! That was the ending for Last of Us. I do apologize if I spoiled anything, but I, I warned you, you, you should have clicked off the video, man. Black Ops 4, um, we just got announced that Black Ops 3 would be free for Plus members. Yay, because it's not like... Black Ops 3 is... Uh, Black Ops 3 is one of those games that it's like, okay, it's not amazing. It just really pisses me off how they... they Alright, 
Basically, they shouldn't have called Black Ops 3 Black Ops 3. They should have just called it Call of Duty Futuristic Shooter Ops 10 or something because it had nothing to do with Black Ops 1 or 2. We also got a new Spider-Man game. Woo! So we got a new Spider-Man. Yay! I wonder if it will be just as shit as the Amazing Spider-Man games. But that's it for Sony and Xbox. Now we're moving on to the final one. Oh. The presentation for Nintendo started off so good. We got Damon X Machina, which actually looks like a fantastic game. The graphics are a bit... Anime. But overall, it does look like a pretty fun game. And I will definitely be picking that up. And this one that has been clickbaited on YouTube for about six months now. Fortnite Battle Royale was finally announced for Nintendo Switch. Now this brought lots of controversy. You either loved this or you hated it. If you loved it, you probably played Fortnite or didn't have a console to play it on and you probably were thinking, well finally it's now on Nintendo Switch, I can play it. And by the way, everyone on the Switch version is total dog shit. Like, I loaded in the game and it was just full of default skins. Like 20 of them. And the people who hated it were either people who despise it or Sony fans. Now you may be wondering why were Sony fans uh, so annoyed at this. Well, basically, if you're a PC or an Xbox player, this game's amazing because you can log in to your Xbox or PC account and keep your progress up, your skins, etc. If you're PlayStation 4, you're locked out because Sony don't like crossplay. So if you missed it, Sony decided to lock down your Epic account that's tied to the PlayStation 4 version of Fortnite. What I mean by that is if you try to sign in with your Epic account, you know, a third party account to the Switch or I guess the Xbox, you can't do it. It just simply says it's tied to a PlayStation account and you'll have to create a new one. In fact, it goes on further to say, well, if you want to do something about this, you just have to make a new account because we can't do anything about it, which implies that Sony is the one who is completely locking it down. Again, a third party account. So essentially what this means is if you're goddamn ninja and you're on PS4 and you want to get this on Switch so you can play it in the subway, you have to start again. Right from the beginning, as a default skin. <laughs> Like, you may be saying, yeah, that is a bit stupid. Like, at the end of the day, skins are only um, cosmetics. They don't do anything. But at the same time, for people who've spent money on skins and battle pass and stuff, they have every right to play it on the PS4. So it's a bit scummy of Sony to lock them out. So, uh, Sony, just, just stop being dicks, all right? Just stop it. Smash Bros. All right, I think we all have to talk about this one. Shall we talk about it for about 45 minutes like they did? Don't worry, I won't do that. Smash Bros. Right, first of all, it does look like a fantastic game. They're bringing back every single character back to Smash Bros. And, um... <laughs> they also announced that Ridley will be in Smash Bros. It's been a bit of a, a joke and meme in the Smash Bros community. And Nintendo were like, ah, fuck it, bring it in the game. He also had a pretty violent reveal trailer. Like, he was just ripping Mario to shreds. That being said, with Smash Bros, we got about a 25-minute demonstration of all the moves and pretty much explaining how to play Smash Bros. Now, that would have been good for people who don't know how to play it. But come on, Nintendo, it's it's not for E3. You should have just uploaded that to YouTube. Like, everyone in the comments, I'll try to find some, everyone was just complaining that it was far too long. And I completely agree. I was getting so bored of just getting taught how to punch someone in Smash Bros. It's, I know how to punch someone. That aside, though, uh, we also had some anime weeb stuff. I don't, I don't. Don't get me wrong, if you if you like anime games, it's uh, you be you, but I just don't see the appeal in them. I just don't, they, they just don't hype me at all. So overall, it was a pretty shit presentation from Nintendo. I mean, they say Smash Bros saved it, but it was just too goddamn long. That presentation could have been about 20 minutes. Oh, we got Ark. 
It can't even run on PC barely. I want to see how it runs on Switch. I just hope that they get it to actually run well, because if it don't, I'm, I'm, I'll just buy it on PC. Closing off the video, I've got two special announcements. Well, what, they're not really special. One, one of them kind of is. I've officially made the Switch to PC, so it's just so much better now. I can actually stream, I can actually edit without the video running at like three frames per second. A main reason of why it took me ages to come out with videos is because my MacBook Air was just so goddamn slow. It just couldn't handle Premiere Pro. So I'd like to announce that I will be getting back into regular uploads fairly soon. So I want to thank you all for being patient. Second announcement is that um, I kind of, I've kind of been hired ish. Marley13, the Scottish YouTuber who does COD, you've probably heard of him, has actually um, asked me to do some editing work for him. I think I'm kind of hired by him. I'm not officially sure, but I mean, it seems that he's asked me to do a second edit. So happy to announce that I'll be working with him, subtitling his videos as in like text on screen. So yeah, that's all that's happened in my life. So yeah, thank you all for watching this video if you came to the end. It was a bit of a longer one, but there was just so much to talk about. Thanks all for watching. I'll see you in the next one soon. Yeah. Peace, peace, bro. Forget the feelings, let me rap. Heard your record took a nap. This ain't ESPN, but you'll play this back. Would you look at that? I write these lines and they get attacked. Dropped out of college to take you to class. My heart's sick of always thinking back. It throws up the cards that it's.